I thought to start with uh, something chill before we go uh, crazy. Maybe something that will allow us to imagine that we're up there in the air flying, watching the whole world, uh, you know, coming to some of you together and not... Uh, okay. Danny, uh, actually, we're alive. Okay, you can start. Okay. Rosalim sheli azgu et hakeh Basuk nafayim ve'afu Badi tzipos kena nisharti bakem Mekave me'od שהכל יהיה בסדר. תמיד ידעתי שיבוא היום, שצריך להיפרד. אבל עכשיו זה ככה, מה לי פתאום? אז מה הפלא שאני קצת מוחד ודואק? את השמיים, פוס לאן שבא לך, רק אל תשכח. Thank <laughs> you. Matan over here, that's gonna, oh, we got some cheers from the balconies. 
שבוע טוב, ירושלים! שבוע טוב, יורופ! Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to get started in a couple, in a minute or two, uh, but it's nice to see so many smiley faces as Daniel's band assembles behind him on the rooftop in, of the Prima Hotel in Yerushalayim. Uh, so uh, we'll get started in just a minute. Welcome to everybody. Special welcome to Spencer Isaac Friedman. I see you there out in the crowd. Um, and uh, hello to Ronya as well. Hi, Ronya. Keep up those special continue. hellos in the chat. Yes, yeah, special hellos are good. We like special hellos. <laughs> Okay, so they have assembled. We have assembled. We got basically, uh, I'm Daniel, Daniel Yehuda. Um, I don't know if I met most of you, but I know some of you, uh, Ruben here and Robin and Oleg and Ezra, maybe. First, <laughs> me for sure. Uh, hi, everybody who's here Melissa, Josie, Alex, uh, Leonie, EUJS, Alisa, everybody else. So we got here with us, we got soldiers, brave soldiers on reserves duty in Jerusalem in one of the Corona hotels. If you're not aware, we got about, if you don't know yet, we have about a hundred Corona uh, virus guests in the hotel uh, where all, they're all Chabadnikim, which is pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty hilarious. We obviously uh, get to meet them, but we they, they, they actually can hear us from their balconies in the hotel. And we got about uh, 60 or 70 more uh, uh, balconies here with people that are uh, joining us slowly. Um, that's beside everybody, besides everybody all around Europe in Berlin. Uh, we are now located in the center of Jerusalem at the Prima Palace Hotel. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a few songs. We're gonna start Odiavo uh, Shalom Malenu. Um, everybody's welcome to you know sing I, for themselves. So Daniel, like, if it's okay, no. I'm gonna welcome everybody first, and we're gonna oh, get yeah, a little Torah, sure, and sure. then we'll pass it back to you for some songs. Sound good? Great. So I'll ask, uh, welcome everybody. It's really nice to see everybody here. And as people continue to fill in, um, uh, it's, it's nice. This is now the third week in a row that we're doing a virtual Havdalah. Um, second you know, week with EUJS. Second week with EUJS. And uh, we're really excited to be here with everybody. Um, we're just gonna share a little bit of Torah. Um, first off, just by a show of hands, can everybody hear me? Just a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. I like the enthusiasm of the thumbs up. That's what I like to see. Um, so Rebecca and I are just going to, we're going to share a little bit of Torah. Um, we're going to share a piece of Torah from the Eish Kodesh, Rabbi Kalanimus Kalman Shapiro, the Piazetz Nerebi, um, who is, uh, who was, um, for all intents and purposes, the rabbi of the Warsaw Ghetto. So uh, we're hoping that um, in uh, the Eish Kodesh's Torah, maybe we can uh, find something that might resonate with us today. So I'll get us started a little bit. I'm starting to feel a little trapped. Anyone nod your head if you're feeling a little trapped, if it's behind your house or your computer screen, or I don't know, feeling like you don't know how long this is going to go on. And that by its nature is kind of trapping. So. <laughs> That, that's, that's a pretty common feeling, I think. It's definitely how I'm feeling. Um, and for that reason, I tried to look around for some insight as to what do you do when you feel trapped? How do you hold on to your faith or, 
I don't know, not even something as big as faith, but just get through the day a little bit. And so the, this, this Rebbe that we're talking about, the Piasetsna Rebbe from Poland, he himself was trapped, obviously, for very different reasons. Um, and the Torah that he shares and the wisdom that he offers brings a lot of relevance to us. And in particular, there's a line that he tries to understand in his work. V'hi she'amda lavotenu lanu. V'hi she'amda lavotenu lanu. I'm saying it by heart, so I hope I'm saying it right. But this is a line in Hebrew that we actually say every year on Pesach in the middle of Magid at the Seder. And what it means is, and she who stood for our forefathers also stands for us. She who stood for our forefathers also stands for us. So there's a really good question that the Rebbe asks, which is, who is she? Who is this mysterious vehi, feminine presence, some presence that's standing in, that has stood ages and ages ago for our forefathers and continues to be with us now? And the answer, the simple answer, I'll give a simple answer and Jeremy will give kind of a more uh, metaphorical or analogy sort of answer. The simple answer is that it's our hope. It's our hope that has always been with us. The, the Hebrew word for hope is tikva. And tikva itself is a, it's a feminine, if we go by language as masculine and feminine, officially it's feminine. Uh, but there's something very strong about this idea that what keeps us together is something that originates in us. Hope is something that people have. It's something that, you know, God doesn't necessarily model for us. It's not something that faith necessarily gives us. It's something that has to start with us. And hope is something that existed long ago and helped our ancestors get through difficult challenges. And also, if we hold on to it, we'll reveal ways that we can also get through it. Jeremy, please. Yeah. That's the analogy. <laughs> So the Eish Kodesh uh, actually creates an amazing analogy with a Midrash about Jacob and Esav, Yaakov and Esav. So for those of you who don't know the story, it's a great story. Esav was the firstborn son. He had this birthright from his father Yitzchak and Yaakov was like, oh, I'm gonna steal it. Then he plotted with his mother to steal it, for, to steal the birthright blessing from his brother Esav. It sounds kind of like a soap opera, but actually it's like Genesis 26. Um, a great, great story. Um, and uh, there's a really famous line when Yaakov, he dresses up as his brother Esau. He puts all this hair on his arms because his brother Esau was so hairy. And he goes to his father Yitzchak, who is mostly blind. And his father Yitzchak says to him, Hakol kol Yaakov. It sounds like the voice of Yaakov, but, uh, but the yadayim, the hands, the arms are of Esau. The voice is of Yaakov and the Adaim are of Esav. And the, the Esh Kodesh, the Piazetz, the Rebbe, he goes back to this line, the Hishamda, and he reads the whole line. It says, It talks about this Vehi, this thing that will save us, that will sustain us, this hope takes us out of the hands. Will save Matsilenu Miyadam saves us from the hands. And he says, whose hands are those that we are being saved from? It's just like what Yitzchak said to his son Yaakov. It is the voice of Jacob, but it is the hands of Esav. Hakol Kol Yaakov. Who was Yaakov? What was Yaakov? Yaakov, more than anything, was true to his own voice was true to who he was. He was constantly striving to be the best version of Yaakov that he could be. What is this hope that will save us? This hope that will save us is doubling down on who you are. Now is not the time to give up on who you are. Now is the time to double down on who you are. Because when you double down on who you are, you are giving hope that we won't be trapped forever. 
I don't know how long this is going to last. If you were looking for answers on that, you came to the wrong virtual Havdalah. But I do know that if you stop being who you are, you will never stop feeling trapped. Double down now on who you are. Now is the time to be more like Melissa, more like Ruben, more like Robin, more like Oleg, more like all of you. That was just the top right-hand corner of my screen, so that's, you got it. Um, but you have to be more like yourself. Hakol kol Yaakov. Double down on your own voice. And I think that that's the kind of hope that can save us. So without further ado, we'll turn back to Daniel, who will play for us a couple of songs, and then uh, we'll do a brief explanation into Havdalah. Um, and uh, at that point for Havdalah, for now, keep yourselves muted, but for Havdalah, we will ask everyone to unmute themselves so we can hear the entire cacophony of voices. So please, Daniel. Am I now on? Is, is that, that my, my cue? Cue? Yes, okay. that is your cue. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're on. We have to pray for someone to come to us. So. Oh, 
Okay, so, thank you, thank you, Daniel. Um, I don't know if you can tell we're having, a, 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 we had a little trouble hearing you, but thank you for your enthusiasm in continuing to sing with lots of love, even though it may not have been a clear sound, it was an emotional sound. Uh, and we heard it from the rooftops, uh, so that was great. Everyone has a really important task right now, which is to get your Havdalah candle. And if you don't have a Havdalah candle, just grab any two candles around your place, okay? Any two candles, and you will hold them together. And we're all going to light our Havdalah candles. And in a second, Sammy is going to unmute everybody, okay? <laughs> because everyone's voice must be heard. And it's going to be awkward, and it's going to be strange. And it's not going to feel like you're hearing just one voice. But that's the beauty of it. The beauty of it is the cacophony of voices. Uh, and that's amazing. Uh, Havdalah is a, a short introductory blessing followed by four short uh, blessings over the wine, over the spices, over the flame, and separating that which is holy from that which is regular. So uh, we'll begin uh, uh, as soon as everyone has their candles front and center. Uh, Rabbi Neil Borvitz, I don't see your candle. Uh, <laughs> My wife says, so, uh, please begin with us. And uh, Daniel, please, uh, we ask that your band accompany us with the music so that our Havdalah is resonating uh, throughout oh, Europe sorry. all the way to Jerusalem. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I thought we were going to do Adama and Shamaim. Adama and Shamaim, no? Yalla, let's do it. The only so, thing, Danny, yeah. Danny, Danny, I have to tell you, we have some technical issues. So it's really hard to hear when you are uh, playing music. We cannot hear you very well. I, I, well. It's I, like really loud and we don't hear any kind of clear sound. I, I totally understand, but that's why we're going to do something very special right now to make it help us all to create something that we'll all remember for many years to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to have everybody selfie a video themselves singing the same song while they're uh, muted uh, using the beat from the original. So yes, I'm going to do it now, but you're going to be able to also take a, a selfie a video of your, yourselves uh, with your friends and everybody you're uh, home with uh, so we can take it and you're going to send it to uh, EUJS or Base Berlin and we're going to take it all together and create a beautiful video of Adama Vishamayim, everybody singing ay 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 Okay, so we're gonna do uh, for video, and because we have video here, also 360, and another another camera right here held by Sagiv. By the way, I did not introduce any of the soldiers. We have Sagiv here, and we have Paul, and we have Yulia, and we have Chen over here. Uh, yeah, thank you for them too for joining on this cold, cold, cold night in Yerushalayim. So. Um, so we're gonna have uh, uh, videos taken from your homes when, where there is no problem with the sound. Uh, and we're gonna create that into a beautiful video. Uh, so we're all gonna be able to enjoy it. Sounds good? Thumbs up. Everybody participating, thumbs up. Raise your hands. Any of the following okay, I think sounds we have great. A quick message from Sammy, and then we'll end yeah. with Daniel's song. So Sammy, why don't you uh, uh, end with some notes? Yes. And then we'll go back to Daniel. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. <clears throat> um, I just wanted to say before we end with the with the beautiful song with uh, Daniel and with everyone else. Um, just don't forget, Daniel said, um, take the video, take a selfie video, and then send it to us because we really want to cut it to a nice have the live video at the end. Um, I just want to say at the end also thank you to again to Base Berlin to Jeremy and to Rebecca. It was a blast as every week as every uh, have the love. Thank you very much. Um, and I just wanted to emphasize again that we're having a party in one hour, one and a half hours, where Danny as well will join us for half an hour or maybe more uh, for Shira Bebira. And afterwards, we'll bring some Israeli wipes to a ritual party. Um, so join us. I'm more than happy if you would join. Uh, it will be fun. Um, and yes, I think uh, now we're going to end this beautiful half the like it a walk to everyone. Um, and yes, you want to add something or no? Uh, just a Shavua Tov and, uh, we love everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, sorry. I just forgot. I <laughs> Yeah. You forgot. Can we start? I just forgot to say from, from EUGS side, uh, stay home. Don't forget, we're having a lot of programs for the, la for the next week planned, starting on Monday. Uh, and uh, stay home, stay safe, and uh, social distancing, okay? Yalla, Dani. Yes. All right. <laughs> אני מרגיש צורת בגופי, באופי ונשמעתי, באדמה, בשמיים, חום האש, צליל המים. אני מרגיש צורת בגופי, באופי ונשמעתי. Chomaesh, Slila Maim, 
אני מרגיש סוד בגופי ורוחי ונשמעתי אדמה ושמיים חום האש בלי למים אני מרגיש סוד בגופי ורוחי ונשמעתי יאללה, גיטה בוך, שבוע טוב. שבוע טוב. שבוע טוב. Thank you everyone. שבוע טוב. שבוע טוב, רוניה. שבוע טוב. ברדלי, we had dinner last night and thought of you. Don't forget, don't forget to do a video of אדמה ושמיים and send it to us, please. Send it, we're gonna have an amazing video. שבוע טוב. Keep healthy, keep, stay at home, uh, and, and have peace hopefully soon, and have a great Pesach. <laughs>